Hello, this is Jim Lenahan, and today what you're looking at is my hand wired, hand built Distortion Plus. You know, MXR started out in the early 70s, and the first one of the first pedals they came out with was the MXR Distortion Plus. And over the years, it changed and um, evolved somewhat and everything, but the original ones seemed to have a warmth and a tone that. Uh, the newer ones just don't seem to have. Um, as a service man and, and musician for many, many years, I, I uh, collected schematics uh, for a long time. And um, as a teenager, probably the first pedal I actually bought was an MXR Distortion Plus. And uh, there is something to it. The old ones have some different uh, components in them. And uh, uh, being that I've been in electronics for many many years and I were to find those components and so uh, whenever I build something I try to copy the original classic effect that the most desirable kind now this is one of my personal ones and um, I like the bare aluminum box with a clear coat over it because I had that's just a look that I had seen some professionals have you know like David Gilmore had some stuff like that and Brian May had some uh, Pete Cornish stuff that was built like this. You know, and I've done a lot of custom finishes and things, but right now I'm working on a rig for myself uh, and to demonstrate to other people with uh, that's that's all this this color. And I do use exactly the same knobs and everything. Is these are my favorite kind of knobs. So uh, here's the amp by itself. <laughs> You know, just a regular clean amp sound. And then uh, I've got this set to where when I turn it on, it's going to be pretty much the same volume as the amp was clean. And you'll notice I've got the distortion turned up all the way. And it has a wide range of sounds, but most people are going to crank it. So that's where I'm going to show you right now. Also, the output level control on, on the originals was a value that allowed you to have a lot of... Uh, consistency when you when you turned it from one number to the next but it, it didn't have a whole lot of output so a lot of people started running them wide open and that helps the sound too but you certainly don't have to do that you can set up your amp to where you could match the uh, volume so uh, again here's the here's the clean and then here's what it sounds like with the distortion uh, pretty much matched That's the maxed out distortion sound. And it can get a lot more mellow, like here it is all the way at the other end, the least amount of distortion. You know, it just has, has a little bit. Here it is in about half. You know, it's kind of a mellow, tuby kind of distortion, and many hits you heard in the 70s and later were bands that uh, used these through Fender amps. A lot of people had Silver Face Fender Twin Reverbs and two or three MXR pedals, and everybody from Pablo Cruz to, to Thin Lizzy used them. Uh, even people that had Marshall amps. Uh, that couldn't turn them up all the way at some venues uh, used them and I was shocked and surprised to find out who actually used them. Uh, Mick Ralphs was one for example. Well anyway this is just for reference um, these are available at uh, special order. Uh, my email is james.lenahan at yahoo.com if anybody's interested and thanks for looking. <laughs>